It's a quadruple murder looming over the area mall for decades. Four employees shot an execution style inside Pope's cafeteria. Tonight, one surviving family member opens her scrapbook and heart as she relives memories of that fateful day. My mother-in-law very painstakingly put this book together for me. I knew nothing about it for years. She did it as a way for my children to understand what happened to the grandmother they never knew. My memories of the day mom died make it seem like it all happened yesterday. Yesterday has become 42 years, October 23rd, 1980. For Sally Hewitt, time stands still in the pages of a scrapbook where she wrote her memories of that horrible day, the day her mother was murdered. I would drop her off at the mall and she would sit inside and read a book until her manager arrived. Sally's mom, Carolyn Turner, worked at Pope's Cafeteria in St. Louis's newest shopping center, West County Mall in De Pere. Sally recalls her relationship with her mom was difficult at times, but on that day, all was well. I'm so thankful that mom and I were getting along during that time and to have had a very pleasant last conversation with her. Around seven o'clock that October morning, three men showed up at Pope's and got in through a locked door. Four employees were already at work. Manager James Wood, Edna Ince, Judy Kazako, and Sally's mother, Carolyn. The intruders forced all four into Wood's tiny office and shot them execution style in the head. Another worker arrived a half hour later, discovered the bodies and flagged down police. Word spread in the quiet De Pere community that hadn't seen a homicide since it was incorporated in 1934. Suddenly, it had four. My mother-in-law called to say she had heard on the radio that there was something going on at Pope's cafeteria. Police quickly discovered $9,000 was missing from the safe. Six casings from a semi-automatic pistol were laying in the scene and a witness reported three men in a yellow Ford driving off from the mall around the time of the shootings. I tried calling the cafeteria. After several tries, someone answered and I asked to speak to my mom. All they would tell me was call the pair public safety office. Employees at Pope stood weeping that day as the bodies were carried out. More than 30 officers from the major case squad jumped into the case, questioning suspect after suspect without making an arrest. They did have a person of interest though, a man they couldn't find. Maurice Bird had worked for an exterminating company that serviced Popes. He had showed up for work that morning, then said he felt sick and left. He never returned to work nor collected his final paycheck. Sally, who was a nurse at the time, says it was just too painful to follow the investigation. I tried to concentrate on taking care of my patients. I avoided TV, so I saw no news coverage about what was going on. Then a break. Eight months later, police in Georgia had arrested Bird for the killing of a liquor store clerk. In time, Bird confessed to the cafeteria murders, but at trial changed his story, denying any part in the St. Louis crimes. The jury said guilty on four counts of murder, and the judge sentenced him to death. It took 10 years and 10 months for this case to close, and several years after that before I ever looked at this book. A decade later, guards led Byrd to the execution chamber at the Potosi Correctional Center. Just after midnight, they injected him with a combination of lethal drugs. He died August 23, 1991, 11 years after the murders at West County Center. Sally Hewitt returned to the mall, but never again set foot in Pope's cafeteria. I'm thankful every day for that last morning with mom. I loved her with all my heart and I miss her.